Hey, we're here again with random PS1 games. Let's go! Uh, so... So this is... It just depends on how long this lasts, but 10 to 20 minutes, probably. This, um, this game, I remember being, uh, pretty good. Uh, I never played it, but, like, apparently it's, like, humorous, and people, people like it for that. Yeah, it, it ha looks like it had, like, cool claymation, uh, aesthetics. Oh, crap. It had, like, a beginning that had, like, a thing that was, like, a cutscene. I was hoping that I would just play it again, so we'll just restart oh, just and watch yeah. that. But uh, a, a couple things about this game. It has a really cool front cover art, which I guess you'll probably see it as the PS2 loads. Yeah, you can prob you'll probably see it, like, on the bottom of, of the video, because it usually tags the game we're playing. Yeah, it's but like a holographic. It's like, it's like a, if you ever saw Crash Bandicoot 2, it's that, like, what do they call it? Lenticular, I think, is the word yeah. for it. Like, that weird, like, holographic thing. Uh, it's made by DreamWorks Interactive, which is pretty interesting. I don't have my phone on me. My, uh, my daughter saw my phone before I went down. So, unfortunately, I can't verify what else DreamWorks worked on. You know what DreamWorks worked on? Uh, Goosebumps. Uh, Escape from Horrorland on the PC. They definitely did that one. Whether it's a pub... I guess it's a developer... Because EA's, EA's the yeah, publisher. EA is definitely a publisher. Yeah, so this is the same company that brought us Goosebumps Escape from Harland. You know, DreamWorks gets a really bad rap, <laughs> mostly because of Shrek 3, and like basically only Shrek 3, and like some of their later stuff before they got uh, bought out, like Boss Baby. But DreamWorks, for the most part, was pretty legit. Um, I mean, there's some clunker movies that they made, like they made Ants, which was just a ripoff of Bugs Life. Bugs Life. I mean, the entire DreamWorks was founded just because the guy hated uh, Disney. I think his name was Katzenberg. It was literally just a company founded out of spite. Uh, can, can I just say one thing? And as someone who's watched Boss Baby like 10 times, the movie really is not bad. In fact, I kind of like it. That was one of our kids' like big movies yeah. like when they're growing up and honestly it, like there's a lot of kids movies that you're like oh my god but that I mean, one's I guess one I them. guess I would watch Boss Baby over Minions or something yeah actually Minion <laughs> I guess I've seen too many dumb kids okay. movies. <laughs> your, your mind is my broken my mind's broken um Cog oh. Monkey will never get away with this. My people are far too smart to accept him as leader. Rip. Ah, uh, so this is how this the bad guy comes up, I guess. I guess. Where even are they? We make an evil engine. We make an evil engine. Yeah, this definitely has a very unique humor. Yeah, this reminds me of, like, Medieval meets Wallace and Gromit. Uh, you know, the Wallace and Gromit thing, I don't know, I was thinking it too. I don't know if it's just because of the claymation. It's definitely just because of the claymation. Wallace and Gromit had a very particular sense of humor and it was not this. Yes. Does our dad like Wallace and Gromit? It just seems like something he would. But maybe it's too, like, new yeah, for him. I'll, uh, I'll ask him next time I see him. Oh, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me more of Wallace and Gromit meets, uh... Earthworm Jim. Yeah, Earthworm Jim. Yeah. I love Claymation. Yeah. I fully realize it probably takes, like, way longer than almost any... Well, it's definitely longer than any computer thing, yeah. obviously. Any, anything that you have to, like, manually photograph every single frame. Like, anything 2D animation, like true 2D animation or claymation. It's probably such a painstaking, tedious nightmare. Can, can I just say that although it is it is a nightmare, it is worth it? Yeah. Like, I mean, Cuphead is, like, one of the best-looking 2D games ever made. <laughs> and they were, like, going over, like, how, like, one boss does one move. It was like a hundred unique frames. It's like God. I can only imagine how many hours of work were yeah. for that one attack. Um, also, another thing is for two D animation, like the kids always have like old 
Disney movies on. Dude, Peter Pan is older than our dad, and our dad's ancient, and it looks amazing. Did it actually come out like the early 40s? It was like 41. Or 39. No, Pinocchio was 39. Peter Pan was like 41, 42. It looks amazing. Yeah, that's crazy. Snow White looks amazing. Look at Incredibles 1. Uh, for a 3D one, it doesn't look great. At all. So, like, dude. And, like... I wonder if I could... I, I, I'm just saying, like, there's something about 2D animation. Even, like, old Bugs Bunny ones, you're like, oh, my yeah. God. It looks so I mean, good. Every, everything nowadays is just cheap flash animation... Uh, it's just not worth it. Yeah. It, I mean, I mean, it is worth it. It's it's cost effective, but it looks cheap. Night Nightmare Before Christmas was made twenty five years ago. It still looks really good. All right. So platformer. Protect you from one hit. I okay. Like, I don't like how there's foreground objects. I never like those in two D games that much. So this has. Um, Do I have an attack? No, you just jump. On him. So this has like a Crash Bandicoot thing in terms of like you can get extra hits. Uh, let me say that I wish the camera was pulled out a little bit yeah, more. Bit Not much, but like maybe like 15, 20%. It's more. also hard to describe, but the controls are a little bit delayed because of the animations. Like when I hit the jump button, there's like a fraction of this second delay. I have a feeling this is one of those games where they just give you a billion lives because you constantly lose them. Almost like, again, like a like a crash. Like, you saw I just, like, jump. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're trying to stop, but, like, not able to. It's a little... Yeah. Oh, it doesn't even matter. Don't forget, we got to do the uh, price on this at some point. Yeah. And I'm going to save my guess for later, but obviously this is not going to be, like, ten bucks or anything like that. I hope I have... Okay, I don't have infinite lives. i got to start paying attention. But yeah, really, really nice animation. Uh, I don't think this game's, like, massively expensive. I know on Saturn it's, like... This game didn't come out on Saturn. It didn't? No. What's the thing I'm thinking of that came out? Uh, Mr. Bones. Oh, yeah, that's right. L was I right? Oh, yeah. my gosh. Saturn Master over here. Um... I, this almost gives me like a, like a, you know that Heart of Darkness game? Like almost that kind of general feel yeah. where you can just die at any time. Heart, um, Heart of Darkness and uh, the one that came before it, I forget what it's called. Out of this world or something. Um, yeah, the ones where like literally, it's, I mean, it's I'm, trial and error. obviously this is a little bit more game than those. Yeah. But, but like Heart of Darkness is infinite for its development cycle where like, I think there, it was in development for like seven years or something. Ooh. What was that? Like, did you get two choices to go to a new level? Yeah, I don't know. Heart of Darkness is one of those games I would want to play, but I feel like I would get really, really frustrated, yeah. so I'd probably it's, just end up watching it. It's basically LB. playing, like, uh, um, Dragon's Lair, where it's like, once you know how to play it and you can skip all the BS trial and error, then it's like, it looks so awesome. But while you're playing it, it's just a nightmare. I tried can playing you the game. Jump? So just very specific jumps. Music's really good. It's almost disappointing that this game is just a very, very uh, basic platformer. Like, it's a good platformer, but something like Crash or something like that is... I'd rather play that. Yeah, um, I would like it if, and uh, I have no knowledge of this game, I would like it if eventually you got a attack of some yeah. sort. If it was like, the original Rayman had the same thing where it starts out with you just being able to jump, but then you get a bunch of cool moves. You know what game's pretty underrated is Rayman 2. The game's pretty good. I don't know if, I think they came out with an HD version of it now that I think of that. Rip. But I think you have a thing right down there. Yeah, the, I'm trying to think. How did I take that? Did I take one hit and then? I think go left. Uh, um, I'm trying to think of what the soundtrack reminds me of. It, it's almost like a surf tone. Yeah, it's very unique. It almost kind of reminds me of. I was about to say Psychonauts, but I don't know, really know why. It's just any game that's weird is automatically Psychonauts. To be fair, this game isn't like no. This game isn't like super weird. No, it it definitely looks weird. You got a left. Right. But yeah, like in terms of like actual gameplay, it's pretty standard. This is a heck of a lot better than uh, the one we played last week. Uh, what was it, Monkey Magic? Yes. Where it was like the similar kind of game, but you were just like, oh god. Um, I forget what 
what year was this? Did it? I think it, it was like 98. 98? Yeah. It was pretty standard for what you could expect. Um, especially with the whole claymation thing, I think uh, it looks pretty good. To it my knowledge, this is the only one in the series? I, don't, I think so, yeah. I don't know. Maybe there were spiritual successors or something. Another problem that I'm seeing is uh, everything looks the same. Yes. Even though it looks cool, it's like, where am I going? Yeah, and again, I think that if you would have to pull out a fatal flaw this game... And it, everything is so abstract, it's just like, why are there random platforms just floating around in a circle? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, imagine at this point if you fell. Like, I don't know if you take fall damage, I assume you don't. But imagine if you fell, you would, like, it would be so much to get back up. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like it doesn't let me go down again. Like, when I jump, it stays in place, so if I jump down, I just instantly die. I'm gonna guess, anyway. Oh, God. Um... Yeah, but like I said, the fatal flaw I'd say with this game is I really wish the camera was out a little bit more. Yeah. Like, it seems... I don't want to say game-breaking. And our, our main dude is just huge. Yeah. It has, like, the Mega Man 7 thing where, like, the sprites are maybe too big. But I understand why they did it. I just wish they pulled the camera out a little bit. Oh, nice. So they did give you two options? Yeah, I guess. I thought the red was going to be a bonus stage at the end. I'm hoping to see, like, a boss or something before I peer out. Also, unless they really, um, again, we're only on the third level, so this game could be extremely varied, but if they just kind of stay the course for this... Oh, is that my extra hit? That's your extra hit, yeah. What is this? Uh, it's literally Crash Bandicoot. Avoid these random objects. But if they stay the course, that it's just a, a random, uh, like, the, the same, like, kind of platforming over and over again, that can get kind of tired. Yeah, I'm already <laughs> tired of this. Right, and you're like three levels in. That's what Crash does. I don't like Crash 1, but that's what Crash 2 and 3 do pretty well, is the, um... Oh, God. Oh, jeez. All the, is all the different types of, of levels, you know. The running down, the running up. Yeah, uh, and even Crash has the two perspectives. I mean, you have the corridor and then the 2D. Um, the, uh, you know, the vehicle levels for Crash and stuff like that, so... It was all your lives. Well, we'll see what... Oh, nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> if I get a game over, I'll stop. Ah, uh, I mean... It's, just, can, it's one of those If games... you get game over and you start again on this level, you should try again. Okay. If it starts you at the beginning, of course, I would... I don't know, I want to... I just kind of want to see... Try to get my extra hit again. Like a boss or something. It also sucks that it's like a, a basic platformer, but like just one hit deaths yeah. and like extra hits are so uncommon. You got you didn't get one in the whole second level. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, also, all things considered, again, I don't expect like story all the time, but like it had like that really like nice long opening cutscene, and besides that, it was like that's it. You know what I mean? I'm scared of this guy. At least I have my extra. Okay. At least those things... Get a prize. I don't want an extra. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to warp me to, like, a bonus level. <laughs> this ain't Mario 3. I like those guys. And this is definitely a trial... I mean, I guess all platforming is technically trial and error. But, like, once you learn what, like, an enemy does, you can be, like... You know much more inclined. I'm interested to see how uh, YouTube Compression will make this game, because it's pretty dark. Yeah, sorry, I mean, I assume if it's really dark that people would stop watching by this point, but if it is kind of dark, we apologize. I, uh, going through capture card and then putting it on YouTube is definitely a thing. Rip. Also, uh, you know those moving platforms? Did you ever? Do you remember how the jumping works in that those NES Simpsons games, where when the platform's going up, you have more upward momentum, and when they're going down, you like do little baby jumps? Oh yeah. It's the same thing with this Ugh. game. All right, so you got to, you got, wait, zero out of one out of seventeen worlds. Holy crap, this game's so long. Wait. Like it. Yeah, I, like uh, it. I guess that's your password. It's square R1 square X. Ooh. 
So I got to the science center. If the next level is just me jumping, I'm quitting. I might want to watch just like the cutscenes on YouTube. Yeah, it looks amazing. I'm certain it exists. It's amazing how much production value they, they could probably they, they probably made a video where it's Skull Monkey the movie where it's just all the you know. It almost seems like the the game itself is so not connected to these cutscenes. Rip. That's me. How does it look so good? Yeah, like, how are you? The more you do. <laughs> oh, is this... Is that explaining a new technique you have? Oh, can I fart now? <laughs> On my head thing? Well, I mean, at least see... Because they're obviously... I, yeah, I, I, mean, I have a feel... Uh, I don't know. It, that might have been a one-off, but... I have a feeling that was... Uh, maybe you get, like, a new, like, thing each time. Hey. Wait, Wait what? what? Did you literally only have one? It's, wait, two wow. fart? Oh, I have to grab it. That sucks. Press L1 to fire off a homing bird. Go grab it. Oh, I can just grab it. Ooh, I like this base. I can't see. Fire that homing bird. On what? Ah. Uh, did you just do it? No. It doesn't let me. I guess just get closer if you can. Or go under it, maybe. Weird. I mean, I pushed L1, didn't do anything unless the controller's broken. It is making a. What? I pushed L1, I promise. <laughs> Do the R2 thing. No. What is going on? Wait, so now you're a clone? What is happening? Oh, I guess. Okay. And just an extra hit, I guess. I like to go to the next Dude, time. I hate forward uh foreground stuff. That's so annoying. Okay. Like, this looks really good. I just hate stuff in the foreground. Oh, is that just the bonus ball? Yeah, so this is definitely a little more varied. It's still just a 2D platformer. But, like, what's going on now is a little more varied. All these platforms are even nothing. I like how the, the, I like how the waterfall in the background is, like, 3D graphics and not claymation. You know? You can also kind of see that... Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh... Oh, I got a game over. Okay, we're about done here. Uh, there looked like there were some inter interesting mechanics. Uh, I don't know what was that fart clone thing, but... Uh... Try it out if it looks cool, if you can find it. Oh yeah, the price on that one's like oh, 50, right. 60 bucks, I think. That's what I was gonna My guess is, what is your guess, officially 50? I'll say 60. Uh, yeah, very interesting game. Something that like, if you're into platformers, it seems like would be pretty cool. Oh, uh, complete it's like 80, 90 now. RIP, so like 90 bucks. See you next time, Skull Monkeys fans. Abashi. Uh,